Trends and Trends of AI, almost every week we get to see a brand new AI tool. AI tools have actually evolved as the popularity match began with training your own AI tools, image to image style transfer, text to image generation, background removal, content aware, generative field workflow. Then we got Gen 1 from RunML, which was the very first time we were seeing video to video style transfer. Of course, AI has actually grown in leaps and bounds, and the folks at RunML, sometime about two months ago, they did mention that Gen 2, which is text to video, was coming. And it's quite interesting to see that right now you can actually go ahead and start creating videos by simply using text as Gen 2 is now available for everyone to play with. This is a very simple to use tool and for anyone who would like to try it, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can actually start creating stuff. So basically, you need an account with RunML for you to have access to this and if you're running a free account, you do have a few credits which you can get started with. Right here within the homepage, you get to find Gen 2. You can actually click right here to generate videos if you like to do that and you can also see that we have a frame interpolation for those who are thinking about interpolating frames and you can find Gen 1 right here. So Gen 2, you click on Gen 2, it brings you right here and you can write out your prompt or you can simply click on this button and it's for those who like to use images to drive prompts. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and paste the prompt which you already copied before and we can click on generate. Other things which you can do as well is to go all the way down and you can see all of the samples. So do any of the samples you like to work with, for example, if you like to try this, you can click on try this and that will automatically replace the prompt which you pasted in earlier, which is an astronaut tripping through space. And you can hit on the generate button to generate that. And this takes a few seconds to generate. And once it's done, automatically you would notice that you now have a four seconds video. And with this, you get a very interesting video which has a bit of camera move to it. Now the camera move isn't so complex as it's more of a dolly or a pan left and right and you have the parallax effect or probably you just have the subject and the objects within your scene just traveling through space. And this is not only for nature and realistic things, you can also generate animated content with this and it is just super interesting how this currently works. The video quality which you'll be getting is 768 by 448. This is technically a HD video. But either ways, with the results which you get from the free version, this looks pretty good. And with this said, there are a few things that I noticed. Unlike image generators that actually chugs out new images with the very same prompt every time you hit the generate button, well, Gen 2 seems to be lacking in that department as it actually regenerates the same video over and over. So if you hit the generate button expecting something new, you'll probably be stuck with the very same video that you created before. If this is a bug or if it is something that will be fixed in the future or if it was just purely intentional, that is totally left for the developers to decide. Another thing is about quality. Of course, this is still in its very early age, but you will definitely notice a bit of the whole AI movement when looking at the image. It is pretty nice to see that something like this exists, but it isn't there yet in terms of using this to create high quality content. I still think AI tools like this would actually be very useful for reference gathering and also for concepting. But then it's only a matter of time before these tools become extremely good and then they might end up replacing stock footages once the AI can understand better camera movements via prompt and also create better quality looking images and possibly give more variation when prompts are dialed in. So this is it, Gen 2 is now available for everyone to work with, so if you're interested in creating videos by simply using text, you can actually go ahead and try this for free as you have a few credit seconds to work with as you can explore and create some interesting things with it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.